Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and we have Serena with a VGC team. Now, I was actually confused because I was like, wait, Pseudo Wudo and Ursaring are VGC? And yeah, they are. So let's go and see how crazy this VGC double battle goes. Had me fooled already, so I can't wait to see what this one's like. And now, my my worst enemy, the opening, the opening intro animations. Ooh, Sableye Cloister. That actually looks pretty intimidating. Sableye can provide support, Cloister can go and Shell Smash, and yep, it could be terrible. So, Fake Out onto Lantern, Cloister getting that Icicle Spear though, and it's going to go onto Lantern as well. Hmm. Interesting. Why not the Pseudo Widow? I'm not sure. But yeah, that Skill Link does a good amount of damage, not very effective, hits five times, Lantern flinches, and Pseudo Widow goes for the Rock Slide. So, hmm. Okay. Cloister takes a little bit of damage. Sableye doesn't take too much damage as well. And I'm still waiting to see what Pseudo Wudo's got up its sleeve. So Sableye goes for that Will O Wisp. Now, Lantern taking a lot of just chip and residual damage. And Icicle Spear is going to go onto Pseudo Wudo this time. Critical hit on that first hit. And then, you know, we're just going to watch some damage come in. Pseudo Wudo not taking as much as I thought it would. But yeah, that's just. Even with the crit, not a KO, so Lantern's going to get off its stockpile, and that's going to start something. So, I'm I'm kind of worried about that burn, though. And Pseudowoodo is going to get a power punch onto Cloyster to try to get some chip damage and see and just, you know, work from there. So Pseudowoodo is gaining attack, Lantern's gaining defenses, but it's burn. Interesting setup, indeed. So Lantern's going to protect... Try to avoid some focus fire or whatever Sableye is going to be throwing onto it. Sableye is going to use Recover. Very interesting, I guess, anticipating a Rock Slide or some kind of damage onto it. And Cloyster going to throw an Icicle Spear at Pseudo Wudo. So Lantern Protect not really coming through, which is unfortunate. And Pseudo Wudo going down before it can do really too much. It got the Power Punch and it got a little bit of damage across the board, but overall not enough to really make it count. So who's going to come in next? We have Ursaring and Aerodactyl bringing some potential shenanigans, and it's Ursaring. I believe Ursaring has the quick feed ability, so this could go anywhere. Yeah, Ursaring is going to protect, it's going to get that burn orb, and then it's going to probably start setting up some crazy stuff. So Sucker Punch onto Lantern, Lantern transitioning to that offensive and using Charge Beam. So plus one on the defenses, not too bad, and getting a good hit on that Charge Beam, not enough to knock out Cloyster, but it's, a sp its special attack does go up. So Leftovers gets a little bit of heal. Burn going to take away all that Leftovers heal and chip away even more damage. And Ursa Ring burned right there, so Lantern going to protect. Just kind of trading off those protects, trying to focus, trying to like eat up some damage across the board. Sableye is going to throw the Sucker Punch onto Ursa Ring. Cloyster is going to Icicle Spear onto Ursa Ring as well. Ooh, this might be close. That's three. Oh. Wait, three, four. Yeah, critical hit at the end. So Ursaring does go down, and Lantern, just the predictions are not working in its favor today. All right, so Lantern getting just losing damage over time like this is not going too well aerodactyl ends up coming out and now we have mega aerodactyl showing its face this this is not looking good right now because it's pretty much a 4v2 lanterns at below half and it's burned and ice shard is going to crash into aerodactyl not be enough though and sableye is going to throw out that will-o-wisp so that was a good play for cloister cloister you know using that priority at least getting something onto the Aerodactyl before it goes down to Rock Slide. Now it's at least slightly more even, but it's, n it's not looking good. We have Lantern still burned, Charge Beam not doing enough to knock out Sableye. Sableye can have that recover and really just heal up before anything happens. So that that's, that's a thing. And also Sableye can throw out that Will-O-Wisp. If Will-O-Wisp lands on the Aerodactyl, that can take away a lot of Aerodactyl's power right there and Zev Strikos on the field. So. Sableye going to throw out that recover, get a lot of its health back. And we have Aerodactyl throwing out the Rock Slide, so Zipstrika actually avoids it, which is one of the worst things that could have happened. Doesn't do a crazy amount of damage onto Sableye, and Shockwave comes in. 
It's going to get that guaranteed damage onto Aerodactyl and knock it out. All right, Lantern going to throw down the Scald. Is it enough to take off the take out the Sableye? Yes, it is. So Lantern, remember, sitting at plus one defenses. It is burned, so it is taking a good amount of damage in the end. And I think it could be in an okay position though. Like Zubstrika can't really do much to it because Lantern generally has Volt Absorb. And oh wow, I think this might technically just win by default to a degree because it's Manetric Zubstrika. But Lantern, so Lantern's just going to heal up if they throw something electric at it, and if the opponent doesn't know that, this could be bad for the opponent. Also, you know, uh, at that I believe it's at a plus two, so with the right predictions and the right damage coming from Scald, it might be able to survive. So, some Strike has sets up the Rain Dance. I did would never have seen that coming, but it ended up working out. Lantern going to throw the Scald onto Manetric, which protects itself. And... I'm wondering what that Rain Dance is for. If it's trying to set up for a, a Thunder on the Manetric, this could go bad. Oh, Manetric trying to get that Double Protect going on. Some Striker using Rain Dance. Okay, the opponent knows that it can't hit the Lantern, but there's going to be some magic here. Scald burns Manetric, and I think that means Manetric's going down at the end of next turn, which means if Scald has enough damage onto Zeb Striker, it's, it's just over like that. So, Lantern hurt by the burn, Manetric goes for that Protect, he can't do anything else. So Strike is really SOL as well, and that's going to be a Skull on- If it's a KO, it's going to just magically knock out of Strike. Critical hit, the hacks come through, and there's the burn. So Leftovers, going to heal up, keep Lantern- alive as Manetric goes, well Manetric takes the burn first and then goes down and then we also have Lantern enduring the burn with four hit points and that's just crazy just very unfortunate for the opponent and also my Wi-Fi disconnected that was that part in the middle of the video but I thought that shouldn't have happened like Lantern just kind of set up after taking the, these awkward hits and this awkward punishment and then suddenly you know it's like Scald's doing damage Charge Beam's setting it up it had the game wow all right so that was pretty ridiculous I hope you guys enjoyed this one more fan what